Well, welcome back. We're going to be talking about exercise, and in this case, it's going to be daily life exercise. So these are the areas that we want to start in a gentle way. For many of you, um, we're not quite ready for a full-blown exercise. We need to get a little more weight off those joints, off those hip joints, knee joints, ankle joints. And maybe you just aren't one of those people that are, are prone to exercise. So this segment is going to be looking at how we can just put exercise into our daily life. And uh, believe it or not, we're going to ask you to be less efficient. So if you're like me, I always like to be very efficient, very orderly. You pick this up, you move it to this spot. At that point, you pick this up, and you have a plan so that you can do this very efficiently and very effectively. But guess what? We're going to use inefficiency as a way of getting exercise in this whole system. Change position. Many of us are quite compulsive, and uh, I'd like to hire you in my medical office here at the university because you would be the kind of person that would sit down at a desk, you'd get that job done, and that's, you wouldn't move until it was done. Well, in this case, that's not good because we're going to use daily exercise as part of our, our building strength, building muscle, is actually going to be just daily activities. So change position, get up, move around, uh, take a paper, come back, get another paper, take it to some place, do things, and changing position will help your back, your neck, your shoulders, all sorts of things. Park way, 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 way when you're shopping. Always go to the farthest corner, and then you can carry your bags or run your shopping cart or do whatever you need to do, but don't park at the closest spot. You want to park at the furthest part. Now, if you have a handicap sticker, you know that's understandable. This doesn't apply to you, but generally most of us can easily park quite some distance away. Take the stairs. We can actually walk up the stairs, walk down the stairs, one flight, two flights, maybe even three flights. If you live, work on the 17th floor, I think you're still going to have to take the, the elevator. But standing more and sitting less. Many times some of the things that we can do is we can stand instead of sitting. Now, when you stand, you want to be just as I'm doing now. I'm coming up on my, my uh, toes, coming up on my heels, because when you stand stock still, Blood will kind of pool down in the, the veins of the legs, and that's not real healthy. So standing and moving is very important. Sometimes I find myself when I have to stand in line, I'm kind of swaying a little bit. I'm shifting the weight. All of those things are important in using that. Use fewer convenience devices. I thought this recommendation was quite interesting. Instead of using an electrical can opener, use a hand one. So we're talking big time here, adding all these different features. Vacuuming can uh, take energy. Washing the car can take energy. All of that is building muscle, building strength, building agility, stretching muscles. So daily life exercise is what we want to bring into place, and I know that you can put this into your life. We'll be right back in just a moment.